Um, there's cup holders in the back, I think. So this is a 90D. Yeah. And we're gonna take it for a little while until, uh, until my Model X is ready. It's a 90D like my X, but it has much better range. So we should be good for a while here. And we're gonna try to find the cup holders for the back seat and we will go from there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Yay! Yeah, it looks really cool. Let me get some more video here of it. Get a little snapshot. It's funny, I've, I've seen this supercharger, I don't know, twice. Uh, the first time I found it, I really had to dig for it. Um, I, I just, I really didn't know where to look, but I think this time I ought to get it right on the money. So let's, let's keep filming here. It may get boring. I'll try to keep the cockpit involved so that, uh, so that you can see. So here's the parking deck. Um, that's one entrance, but here we go. It's not a real stop sign, so I'm going to keep moving. Some nice scenery for the viewers here. And I think I'm really close to it, as you can see on the map. So I'm trying to follow this thing exactly. Okay, it says to enter here, so um, here we go. And for anyone coming here to Atlantic Station, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you don't get stuck in here. Uh, the first two hours are free. So, wow. All right. Now I won't need more than 30 minutes. I've got 156 miles of range so let's see if I get this straight and it's kind of cool because you know by by the whole everything is painted red down here uh, in this parking deck there's like a purple area orange area red area um, there's a camper over here at the supercharger that's cool I didn't even think I would see that maybe they're at a hotel um, anyway there's as you can see plenty of stalls here to park at so I'm gonna see what I can what I can do here and um, I think they say that you should always go for 1a which is what this is right here so yeah, let me try 1A. All right, so I'm here. I uh, decided to go 4A. These, uh, these superchargers are set up to where you pull in. Um, let me go on and get out here so you can see. Oh, yeah. So you want to pull in. You know, most of them are set up uh, that I've seen where you back into them. So let's try this. Here we go. Um, 
Uh oh. Well, I had to push it. All right. Here we go. We're charging. Oh, gosh. I can't wait to get my to get back in my ex um, or to get in it period long story but it's kind of tough getting in and out of the S I, I do like it it's a lot of fun but anyway here's the here's what's going on with the supercharger um, I'm gonna hang out here for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna go home I you know just get ready with the family get ready for work and kids ready for school so uh, that's that I'll just get back to you with another video there is something I want to mention though actually uh, it's kind of a mess in here forgive me it's a loner but uh, this iPod classic um, it's not working when I plug it into the USB uh, so I'm going to try to figure that out, but for those of you who are wondering, you've got an iPod Classic and you're a big music buff like myself, um, you're not going to be able to, uh, so far I haven't figured out how to get it to work, but like I said, just plugged it in a few minutes ago. I, I don't live far from this supercharger, so I'm going to work with that and see if I can come up with a solution there. I'm thinking I may have to just get one of those... Uh, Bluetooth modules that you plug into the bottom. Um, if you don't know, understand, you can plug a Bluetooth module in right here, and then it, it enables this thing that uses Bluetooth. Uh, that's that, to me that seems cheaper than than um, you know getting a another iPhone because it's kind of a pain to deal with it with the iPhone if I want to film and do anything. And I got this thing connected on Bluetooth, so I had to of course turn the Bluetooth off before I started. Uh, doing these this film so all right